Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today, we are going to make a project on the topic Payment Gateway. So when you heard about this topic Payment Gateway, I know what comes into your mind. UPI, banks, transactions. Ha, huh, you're correct. We are going to work on something like that only. So let's have a requirement analysis first. First, we require a interface where we are going to write our code. I have used VS Code here. It's really very fun and most of the people, most of the programmers out there, they use VS Code. Then you require an operating system. You may require any operating system, but the recommended operating system here is Windows 10. This project is based on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We are going to see what kind of magic can JavaScript do in the project. We will be using certain HTML files, CSS files, JavaScript files, and Bootstrap, of course. So without much delay, let's have a look at the project. Let's have a look at what it has in store for us. Coming to the first and the foremost thing that is index.html, here it is. So let's close this. In the index.html, first you have this doc type HTML. I know you guys are very fascinated about the look that I have on my VS code that's because of this extension that is the jelly I'll show you it jelly so not this or was jellyfish yes this is the theme that I've used so if you like this thing you can continue with the thing no issues so here let me close this yeah cool so what we have done here first doc type HTML then here we have referred the Google APIs uh, the Poppins font family. <coughs> then do we have the body? In the body, we got the background image. Uh, we have given the URL. Uh, from where we have given the URL? From the images. Look at here. There is a donate image. So this we have given there. So as to load this one here in the background image. The background size is covered. That means the entire screen will be covered. I know you want to look once. Have a look at this. This is what we got. When you click on the donate, you go on this page. We'll see. One by one, we'll see the function. So this is the image that I showed you and cover which this completely covered. It has completely covered my screen. Then we have this uh, font family, the H2 font part. We have done it. Like the H2 is what heading to. And we have selected all the font size, font family, text transform building. Then we have this button. What is the button? This part. This one. This is the button which we are going to talk to, talk about. So the padding is given, the margins are given, the color, the borders, border radius, font family, text transform. So basically what happens is whatever you want to change in your button, you can change. Or you can, you can actually modify everything. It depends on you what layout of the website you want to in your resume or you want to in your website. Depends. Let me put this color. Let's see. How does this look? Let us refresh. See, the donate color changes to red. Okay. So just play with these things. You'll get to know better. So in the border part, again, you can change no issues. Then see, before what happens, what is the meaning of before and that is before your hover and after your hover. So before hover, what happens? Your position is absolute. The positions of top left is given here. Width and height is mentioned. The background color is black. The transformation is given. The opacity is zero. But when you hover, the color changes to white. See, it changes to white. Okay, before it's like a, the same color as this. It's completely the opacity is zero. But when I just hover it, it changes to white. Got it? Great. So just keep keep on engaging with me keep on learning with me be with me in each and every link i'm going very slow so that you can understand then the border radius is five pixels the transaction the transition transformation is given as 0 0.8 second depends on you can change the timer so it will take a little longer time then the style tag is closed here then under the body we have the payment page.html we have referred to the payment page to the html so anchor tag now let's move to the payment page.html Let's see what it has. What is the payment page? 
Okay, let's move. When you click on donate, I go to this payment page. This is my payment page. I have net banking, I have PayPal, I have debit cards, I have credit cards. So this is what. Now let's see the functionality. Let's see the working of this, this payment method. So this is the payment gateway integration. The title, what is the title? This part. Okay, and this is called this hand with the dollar symbol. This is called a fab icon. If you want from where it came, it came from here. If you can see, I guess it's visible right now. Okay, cool. <coughs> so we have the link first taken, like the image is dollar png is taken. This one, which I told you. This is also, this is for that the donate part. So this one, which I said you. Then, then we have this. Uh, we have a script type, that is the JavaScript script. And we have an event listener. And we have a function here. And we have set the time. Then these are the links actually provided, the APIs which we have called for the different uh, styles that we have provided in our payment gateway. So you do not need to write and you do not need to code the entire layout. You can just copy. Everything is ready-made. You can just copy. No issues in that. Then you have set the uh, flex bars. You have set the uh, layouts. Then you what you have done, you have set the fancy bars. The, the, uh, your formats, the zone keys, segment values, options, everything is set here. So what is this? This is basically this components, the credit card component, the net banking component, the PayPal component, then these boxes, the text boxes, the expiration, the num numerology, the number boxes, everything. Then uh, you have actually the types uh, depending on the default vertical accordion. The width is auto or any width line. Then the fit is 100% fit. 100% fit, fit, fit means what? It completely restores. It completely is fit in your uh, like website. And then here we have this uh, display the block width margins are mentioned here. Then the here see. This was I'm telling. The credit card. Now we have uh, this basic. <coughs> <coughs> the entire page is divided into multiple sections which are basically divisions. This is what I'm saying. The credit card information section which has the amount, name on card, card number, expiration, etc. and the CVV number as well. So this is the credit card section. See, division amount. So the different sections. Name on the card, card number, expiration and CVV number. Okay. Then again when we move to the Net banking. In the net banking, we have different uh, radio buttons. What, what are the radio buttons? I hope you know the radio buttons, but let me tell you again. These are called the radio buttons. When you click somewhere and you click on continue, so you reach a page. Okay. So that is called your uh, net banking, basically. So th these are called the radio buttons. When you click on it and you can see a dot on the circle, that is called your radio buttons. I, I hope you know all these things. Then the, uh, whenever uh, a transaction is successful, whenever you provide the details, you land into the success page. Okay. Then we have this uh, debit card. Debit card again, what are the debit card optional options here? These are the debit cards. See, these are the debit card infos. Okay. Then we have a PayPal as well. I guess I missed it somewhere. Yeah. Here, PayPal. Got it? So if by any transaction, your transaction is successful. By any way, your transaction is successful. You land to the single page, which is success page.html. You can see the success page.html is mentioned in every part. Be it be the credit card, be it be the debit card, be it be your net banking, and be it be your PayPal. Then what is the success page? How did we design the success page? This is what the success page looks like. It has a container, the uh, printer, printer like a printer wala screen. See. When I click on the net banking, when I go to the ICICI bank and I continue, this is a transcript which shows that your transaction ID is this and your transaction is completed. Beautiful animated page actually. Got it? Let me refresh it. There. So the papers, uh, like the animation, the gen index, the margins, everything is set. See, the animation is set. So the paper was rolling down and it was going up. The timers is also provided, the timings. Then the main contents, the, this is the paper jack, edge, the edges of the paper. So you can get this in the internet. Everything is available. You do not need to write the CSS completely actually. 
these are all given you just need to integrate in your website that is what you need to know the order number the com the complements the order labels everything is mentioned here okay the key frames the print thing the transformation thing and here is the payment complete thank you for completing the payment you will shortly receive an email for your payment so all these things are already mentioned now we'll move to the js part here let's see the responsivity of the website so this is basically the responsiveness on the tabs plugin and we have here the variables declared at first the options variable opt variable all the variables are declared then this is a properties function in the properties function we have uh, added the particular property to a particular variable this here we have assigned the markups the here we have assigned the tab markups so basically do not need to remember all the functions because no one in this world can remember all the functions until and unless you have too 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 much practice on a particular too much hold on a particular language you always can take reference from the internet you always can take reference from chat gpt so that you can learn better you can work better so this is that you just need to know the parts here tab click action function is here like when you click on something uh, when you click on the slide up it slides up when you click on slide down it slides down when you click on the donate you go to the payment gateway this is the window resize function so basically to resize the window okay now let's have a look at this this is completely taken from the net okay jk.mean.js so i i said you know like you do not need to remember this you can't write by yourself right this is what it generates automatically so this is what our project looks like let us go to the credit card let me enter the amount say 1000 10000 name on the card is say simran let me send see it says the payment is complete so this is what our complete project was i hope you liked it for more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to this channel. Thank you and have a great day.